Hey Lovebugs, I have a Dollar Tree haul and I got some new things and I got some old staples. So I'm going to start with the things um, I went in there for and to restock on and I'm going to introduce you to the new things that I ran into that's new to me. Okay, so we have the swabble tail. I really do like this. I just have a tendency to go with this one because this one gives you um, 20 sheets. The other ones probably give you like 15. Um, so I'll go with this one, the blue one. And... I restocked on the dish detergent. I can give you a review now because I've used both of them. Um, this one is the dish detergent in Lavender Lilac. And it is a plant-based uh, dish soap, dye-free and, I'm not, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna even do it, but it starts with a P. And uh, it claims to cut tough grease and it has aloe. So this one is the lilac and this one is the citrus mist. It's like a like a thick gel, um, jelly consistency. Um, it does the job. Now I must say, when you have tough grease stains, like, like the real tough stuff, I do go to my handy dandy and trusty Dawn Platinum. I really do. So I'm not gonna leave in front and make it seem like you know, but when I use this and I soak um, like a dish that maybe needs a little soaking before a little elbow grease, it does work. It really does. And just again, I have a Dawn and I try to, when I'm in there, uh, Dollar Tree, I just grab one. And give you a review on these Clementine, uh, uh, Clement, but I don't know why I said Clementine, but Clement, um, whole jalapeno peppers and it's pickled it's a 10 ounce and finished the jar um i've been eating these me and my son has been incorporating these with our greens and i have been loving it uh this brand is really good i'm not sure if it's a name brand i'm not sure but it tastes like the name brand and if it is this is good so i will grab a can every time i run out or prayerfully and hopefully um dollar tree continues to carry it it's really good, you guys. So if you like jalapeno peppers, great. This is, that's good. Um, I got the Muir Glen Organic Whole Tomatoes and Fire Roasted. So now I have the Fire Roasted um, Crushed. And I also have it in the, um, to, um, to, either, no, it's not tomato sauce. It's uh, tomatoes with um, basil. So I have that. So I'm happy and I'm so glad they have this big thing uh, for $1.25. It's a lot in the store. And it's our organic um, product, so I'm really happy. And it's soup season, like, come on, you can't beat that. Um, starting with, or going with this, this is new to me. This is a um, reusable mason jar, but it's like the dish, um, it says dishwasher safe, but it's like, you know, the little Ziploc bags that we use, but just shaped in the mason jar. And I thought that was so cute. So you get these sizes here. It says you get um, four small ones, um, three mediums, and three larges. And that's pretty cool if you like to keep little things to put like, you know, it has like snacks and stuff like that. So that's what I'll be using it for. Uh, what was crazy that on the, um, what's the things that they have um, hanging on like the shelves so you can see it? It was only one left, so I want to thank the person. <laughs> That left at least one so I can try it and let me see because I ha I have a lot of um, snacks like if I'm on the road or decide to I'm going to be out for long periods of time I like to take um, a snack or something and sometimes that might be like peanuts and stuff like that and this is a cute way to use that Okay. Yeah, so let's see. Oh, those are so cute. So these are the small ones. And you can see through it, so I really like that detail. Very nice. I really do like that. And it has like where you open it from the top and it has the you know the crinkly the, the lid is where you seal. Really, really cute and detailed. Then they have oh sorry. This is the medium. The medium has the red lid and it's see-through. And you get your three. 
And the large one is your blue lid. That's pretty big. And you get your four. Yeah, I think you get four. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Like that's that's good. I like this. I like stuff like this. So I got that. I can put that to the side. You guys, I thought these were unique. They had one just sitting off. This is the Joe Joey. Um um, cactus taco holders which i thought was pretty cool it's just easy easy taco filling so you put your taco and it sits your taco up it, just, it was just sitting in a odd space um i said i'm just going to put it in my um my little buggy and i'm going to just see when i get up to the register forgot that the dollar tree that i went to today um had scanner so when i made it around like a corner where it was a scanner i looked at my little buggy got it out and scanned like you know the little code and it said 125. what was no actually i take that back i i for some reason i went down the aisle of the like three dollar five dollar and i saw a whole box of these um underneath it it said three dollars something just said you know just scan it um and i i think they had the scanner on the three dollar five dollar aisle I scanned it and it came up for 125. So can you guys that frequent that owl? Do you have a tendency to find really nice things in that owl <laughs> that say one thing, but then when you get up to the register or something, it says another? Because this is the second time that has happened to me. Um, that I went on that owl and I just saw something and was like, oh, I like that. And it, it, it rang up a dollar twenty-five. Either way, not to make a long story short, I'm happy I got these. Um, because I like my taco sent up, even though I make it homemade and I don't do, um, 95% of the time I don't do like the hard shells like this. I just fry them. Um, but still, even if I was to get the hard shell, cause Dollar Tree does bring in the name brand. That's probably when I do do it. Then at least I have these. I want to open these so you guys can see how they look. I mean, you can see it from the plastic, but I just have tape on it. That's fine. And I thought that was neat. I'm glad that I saw that somebody just decided to get it and put it back. And probably that part, the price probably just made them change their mind. But it's, it looks something like this. At first, I thought when I first picked it up, I thought it was like uh, a potato chip bag, like the clippings. But then when I read it, it was like a taco holder. So it kind of looks like this. So it sit flat on your plate. And it would hold up your taco, which I love that because that kind of helps you um, fill in the things you want in your taco when it sits up like that. Anyway, moving on. I got the Island Vanilla Cashmere. Um, I forgot the other one I had in this one. Or do I have this one? I think I have this one. Yeah, I think I have this one. But I did see one left on the shelf. Um, this one is in sand, satin wood. So it was only one amongst, I think, the Dollar Tree brand. And it smells good. It has a, 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 a last note of mint, so like a faint of mint. You know it's a mint scent, but I really hope this throws because I really do like the way the, um, the spray smells. It does really nice. So hopefully the wax smell does well. These were new to me. This is Oasis home vanity organizer it's just a little i like the um bridged um and bridged um look on the organizer so i will be using like q-tips um um hair pins because i like the access of just having to just um open the top instead of some of the things i got from dollar tree in the past where you have to Clip something off, I can just open it, close it back down. So I, I like that access to what I need. So I got two of them and the packaging looks like this. Yeah. So that's what I got that for. I love these two brushes. I said every time I see them, I will just grab one because I know it'll come a time where you no longer see these. So I grabbed one, that was good. Uh, my husband wanted another soap dish, so I got it in this color. And I got the Freeman uh, Flirty Feet Soft Foot Scrubber. Um, 
It claims to exfoliate and detoxify with pink Himalayan salt. It's a 5.1 ounce. Never use anything like this, but I'm excited to try it. And I never used a salt foot mask. Not a foot mask, but a foot scrubber. Mine was usually the pumice stone. They brought those types in or something with a little... Let me make sure that's not me. Okay, this has a really nice scent. It's it's wrapped in plastic, so that's why I was... It's really nice. It does look like, um, you know, if you're familiar with salt lamps or something like that, it does give that. I, I don't know. I've never used anything like that. It has, like, little ridges on it. And so I would like to see what that do. Is, is This is different. It says, get spot pretty cute results at home with this pink Himalayan salt scrubber to exfoliate and smooth rough skin naturally, antibacteria, and known for detoxifying. So the directions say, soak feet in wet salt scrubber, massage in circular motion, motions on feet, use two times or three times a week. Um, scrubber will get smaller with use and dissolve. So that's, that's pretty cool. So this is probably a good thing to probably keep in your shower or if you take baths, because that's what they do. So, okay, I'll come back with a review when I do use this. And I probably need to try it soon because I know Dollar Tree doesn't keep a lot of things in. They get what they're gonna get and once it's gone, it's gone. So I wanted to try the new formula. It's called, well, it's by Freeman and it's called, it is a smoothing scrub mask really like small because this is like the amount you're getting um it says pumpkin enzymes polish ahas resurface dermatologist tested safe for sensitive skin and it says free of paraben sulfates that other p word that sometimes i get sometimes i don't get in uh mineral oil yeah, so it's free of all those things. And it claims, it's just simply saying, um, add a thin layer to clean and dry face, massage gently to exfoliate, avoid eye contact. Um, leave on for five to seven minutes and rinse with, rinse with warm water. Use twice a week or as often as needed. So I wanna try this too, because if I like it, I wanna be able to go back and get some more if I like it, because I love a good, hearty, nice um, face scrub with benefits. And this is like, it has a pumpkin on it. So it, yeah, it has the pumpkin uh, enzymes polish, like I said, AHAs. I forgot what the AHAs are, but I heard that they're good for you. All that good stuff. And this is what the packaging looks like. Okay, and the last things I will be showing you is socks. So they have Barbie socks, and if you know, I love pink. <laughs> so they have um, the name brand Mattel um, socks. This is 913 and kids. And I just realized that I'm like, I'm pretty sure I can fit that because my feet, foot is not big. Um, the Gremlins, I love Gizmo. Like if you watch that movie, Gizmo was the cutest Gremlin of them all. So they have it like this with his ears all big. Then they have Winnie the Pooh. I chose this color because I, this is, I love the color. It's like an earth tone and really nice. So they have the bright um, yellow, orange type of socks. But when I saw it in this pattern, I said, yeah, cause I was skipping skipping the uh, Winnie the Poohs. I got the Mickey Mouse, I'm sorry, the Minnie Mouse. And all of these are name brand socks. Um, you can put a sticker if, if you like gifting someone something. Um, this is the other Barbie with um, the Barbie face and it just says Barbie. Um, I got the Barbie written all over pattern. And I got the <laughs> um, Lion King, I forget, uh, Timon and Tumba. I, I always get mixed up with who's who, but it's the little guy. The little sassy one, not for real. And then I have the Mickey socks that look like this. 
And I have the other Gremlin uh, socks. You have Gizmo and then you have the naughty one. Yeah, that one was really naughty. So it says then and then it says naughty. So does, I think it just have those two on it. Okay, you guys, that is sitting in my haul. Thank you for taking the time to watch my channel and watch my haul. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye, guys.